bruh. I can't get right in this video. Fuck. I can't. What the fuck? This shirt is a lie, okay? It's a whole lie. Hey girls and guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Chaz. If you don't know already, I'm an MIA and I do apologize but I am back and today's video is going to be a haul slash get ready with me kind of. So basically it's just a small little haul. I went to Alton. I picked up a lot of new items and I did want to do like a first impression on those items. I got some Dose of Colors. I got some Too Faced. I got some Wet and Wild. I got a bunch of new items that I'm ready to jump into and try out for you girls and guys. So I hope that you are excited and this is going to be a talk through get ready with me haul because I, have, I haven't seen you girls and guys in a long time and talk to you. You know what I'm saying? I miss my babies. I miss my loves and yes. So, if you want to see what I got from Alta and how my makeup turns out, I'm, I'm curious to see that because I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. But if you're ready to see all of that, just continue to watch. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and thumbs up this video. Okay, so I'm going to get the first items out the way So because I already used them. And that was just this Clarisonic uh, brush head gift set. And it comes with a NYX lipstick and a Clarisonic face wash as well as the brush head. And this is like a limited edition little collab with Clarisonic and NYX I guess. But I really did like the brush head which is what I got it for. Face wash and it came with a lipstick. Ooh, this is a pretty like dark red. I will wear this. And I use that in conjunction with this face wash that I just picked up. This is the Micro Delivery Exfoliating Facial Wash from Philosophy. And I felt like this was a great face wash. It says that it's a daily facial wash, but I really did feel like it was really exfoliating. And it deeply cleansed my skin without scripping it and making it feel like really dry. And I really appreciate that. This really felt like really moisturizing. And I didn't have to use a heavy moisturizing, just a little bit of vitamin E oil. And yeah, got this on sale though. Everything I got was a deal. The next item I used that I'm not going to be using on camera, which is the last item that I used off camera. Multi-active toner from Dermalogica. And it comes in a nice spray bottle. And I thought that was nice. I never used a toner that had like a spray on it. I always use a toner where I have to use in conjunction with like cotton pads and cotton rounds and I always felt like yeah like maybe I'm wasting money doing that so this was a really neat way to spray a toner on without having to waste cotton pads and it was kind of pricey this was a $40 toner but I really do like it I like it those are all the items that I used off camera Too Faced Born This Way foundation this is the collaboration that they have with Jackie Ina here on YouTube everybody knows Auntie Jackie we love her spice rum and I'm not sure if this is my shade anymore I think this may be a little too dark for me some of you girls and guys may know if you follow my vlogs the altar by my house can be ignorant sometimes it wasn't really helpful and they were sold out mostly all the shades like the new shades so that should tell you something altar black girls buy foundation too bottle is really pretty i can't wait to try it out i think it's really nice and pretty and i i just love supporting you know i'm biased i love supporting black girls what is it you know she is evolving it for us i really think it's really good what jackie is doing as well where she is expanding the shade ranges and she's it's like more women are coming out and speaking up because black girls wear makeup too and you know let's be all inclusive it's 2018 come on y'all that shit getting old i got the Too Faced born this way super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer and i was like whoa when i saw people using this online i was like i thought that was the foundation this is a humongous bottle of concealer and a lot of people are comparing this to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and that is like my favorite concealer so I cannot wait to use this and I know that this is my perfect highlighting shade because the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer counter was like literally beside this so I swatched my shade, my highlighting shade with Tarte next to this one and it's perfect. So yep, I can't wait to use those. Next item I got is also from Too Faced and it is their new dark dark chocolate um, matte bronzer. I think this is so cute because I always use my like Anastasia bronzer to like bronze up my face and that was like not deep enough. Oh, I didn't know the packaging looked like this. 
this is so pretty that is so pretty oh my goodness um i usually use the anastasia bronzer and that wasn't deep enough to contour with oh my goodness this packaging is to die for oh, this is so pretty now this is pretty and it smells like hot chocolate oh it's so pretty i love this i cannot wait to use this i hope you guys can see this i got a new camera hopefully it's focusing on the product shot i also did pick up this precisely my brow pencil but i do have the other one the goof proof goof proof brow pencil the angled one with the spoolie and this is just like a travel size precisely my brow and i think i got it in the darkest brown or something that's the one i'm going to try on my eyebrows today because i wanted to try a different eyebrow pencil so i want to get out of the habit of using the same products you know over and over even though they work for me i just want to try stuff try new things next items i got are from wet and wild and these are two mascaras the first one is wet and wild lash out loud wet and wild max volume mascara and i've heard a lot of good things about the wet and wild mascaras that's why i picked them up because they're very afford affordable you know we got to save some coin they're also like really pretty packaging and i heard they work well so i don't like spending a whole lot of money on mascara the most i ever spent on mascara was a long comb mascara and it was like damn near 50 dollars and i love it i love it but never again i ran out of it i think it was the grandiose but also mascaras expire and makeup expires and you don't want to be spending a whole bunch of money on a bunch of freaking makeup that's going to expire or could make your eye get an infection or anything i have really sensitive eyes so i don't want to keep on i'd rather spend money on cheaper things that i could take a chance with and throw away than spending a whole lot of i don't know sometimes i'm a quality versus quantity type of person so i can kind of take that back i really don't know i'm just talking new mascara plus fiber extension kit from wet and wild and it's the lash o matic and it's a three-step mascara one, two, and three is one prime with mascara, two add lash fibers, and three seal with mascara. And I like that. It's like any other fiber mascara duo, you know. I think that's really cute. Anyway, I will have all the items in the description down below, linked where you can see the prices and everything like that. And I also did pick up this e.l.f. eyeliner and shadow stick, and I got this on sale for like 99 cents. And this is a fancy gloss that I didn't get from Alton. I just love. I need to put on now. The lips feel dry. Next, I got Dose of Colors times I Love Sahiri, which is Karen on YouTube. And yes, I'm so geeked up, geeked up because you know what i'm saying this palette i've seen in the store i didn't really know about the collaboration or nothing like that to be honest with you i just thought it was really cute the colors watch them they're absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i cannot wait to play with this palette this is going to be so fun and it has those really pretty pops of color and it also has like good transition shades as it from what it looks like and i can't wait dose of colors and i also did pick up two of the lip products which is my last two items i picked up two of the lip products which one of them is called peachy liquid lipstick and it's like a peach color Ooh, i never wear peach color lipstick so i'm curious about that and how that will look on me especially with this dark blue hair i got going on that i just did i've been recording a lot guys and a lot of old videos i just got rid of because it was toxic I just had to get rid of all the old toxic drama and start fresh. Some things just aren't meant for everybody to see. Some things you gotta start fresh, you know? Those of you who've been rocking with me from the beginning, even though it's been a short period of time, but I mean, I feel like it's been a long time coming. And I thank you girls and guys for getting me to over 21K. I just appreciate everything and I'm happy. Barely there and it's a pretty lip gloss. And it smells like lip gloss and it's pretty new my bad guys my camera cut off after a certain amount of time of recording i gotta figure out how to motherfucking fix that because that's annoying as a bitch um actually was talking about this lip gloss barely there and i was saying it's like a really pretty pinky nude shade and it has really pretty light glitter in it bruh i can't get right in this video fuck I can't. What the fuck? Anyway, if you girls and guys want to see how I get ready with these new products, then just continue to keep on watching. First, I got a prime. 
my face. Since I didn't buy a new primer, I'ma just use my favorite primer that I always use. And that is the YSL Touch A Glot Blur Primer. It's a good primer. It's very expensive. It's very expensive, but it's a good primer for my skin. Alright. Now I'm gonna go in with my Born Too Faced Born This Way Spice Rum and my Morphe sponge. Take a few pumps of that on the back of my hands and I'm gonna put it on my face. But yeah, girls and guys, what have y'all been up to? I ain't been doing nothing. Nothing for real, same old stuff. Me and the kids been chilling. My son, buddy, just had a birthday. He just turned four. And I'm so happy about that. I mean, he really enjoyed his birthday. We had a big party and yes, I vlogged it. So y'all can stay tuned for that vlog as well my buddy birthday vlog and uh, I didn't even post my birthday vlog I don't even know if I want to post it anymore it's back from April I don't even know I don't think I don't I, I don't know if because the vlogs have to stay in order for people to keep up but if they be old people probably won't be interested anymore right so that's why I don't know about my uploading the old old vlogs especially the ones with a certain someone in it because I know certain people just come on my YouTube channel who don't I don't even know but they know me just trying to see if they see that person and that's exactly why I decided to not upload and a lot of other reasons and factors have played a have played a role. It's really funny trying to talk and put on foundation. But a lot of other factors have played a role in me not uploading as often. I do work. I have kids. I get really busy, but that's not the only things that have really slowed me down from uploading. This foundation is really pretty. It is a little too dark, though. I got that Nikki tutorial with my sponge thing that she hears with her sponge. And this is a new sponge. I only used it like once before this. It's a Morphe sponge. And it's really good. I, I really like it. Yeah, uh, other things have played a factor in that though as well. And I just feel like I had kind of got lost. Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in Maple. But yeah, me and my significant other or whatever at the time we're doing really good and then we ran into a bad situation and now he is incarcerated and that was my first time actually dealing with someone who is um in incarceration like it's not his first time being incarcerated but it's my first time dealing with that type of situation so I didn't really know what to expect going into it because I was messing with him before this shit happened so I didn't want to just fake oh fuck when he going to jail now and then the situation is just really so it's just like one of those situations where it's like I could never turn my back on him like that in the beginning but these dudes they they gonna do what they want to do in jail out of jail incarcerated on the streets they gonna do what they want to do and I realized that I have to realize that I can't be sitting up there focusing all my time on someone else when i need to focus on me and my dreams and my ambitions like this shit don't stop just because uh, a little situation like that this shit keep going i done had a lot of you guys girls and guys that i love reach out to me on my snapchat and my other social media like because y'all peep shit and y'all love me and i love y'all y'all some real ass chicks and i fucks with y'all but y'all have reached out to me and said like well, you should want him to come home to a boss. Or if he, you know, if you want to hold him down, you should at least post your videos. You don't give up on your dream, man. To those girls who said that, you're absolutely right. Absolutely right. I don't know what I could have been thinking to not be uploading my videos. I just don't know. I just, like, felt like I got lost. I didn't get a contour and concealer, so I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Matchstick and Espresso just to contour the hollows of my cheekbone and a little around my forehead so yeah guys i swear it's just like this was like really fresh new situation for me and i really felt like damn like 
I don't know. It's just like my whole world stopped when I focused on him. It's like I was focused on that one person and not focusing on my goals, my dreams, my ambitions. And it took a real wake up call from God to open my eyes and be like, girl, the fuck? Jazz, bitch, you don't care about no motherfucking bitch. Is you crazy? You must be dick drunk. I had to really snap out of it like, and get my shit together, y'all. And I'm back. <laughs> I'm back now. I am woke. I promise you, girls and guys. I am woke, honey. I am never going back to sleep. That concealer is so pretty. I don't know, like, but other than that, Maya, she been doing really good. It's the summer. Yup, girls and guys. So, me and him, we still together, but we just i just been focusing on me like I, i'm not all like i was all in at first like i was all in not to say that i'm not fucking with him not holding him down I'm still holding him down but i'm focusing on me like my priorities is what's most important and not saying that he slowed me down it was my choice i'm a grown woman he can't make me do nothing i don't want to do it was my choice i chose to put this on the back burner and focus more on him and he didn't say no okay guys so my last memory card ran out of memory so i don't know what i was talking about on that end but i just went ahead and blended out my contour now i'm gonna go ahead and set my face and set my under eye concealer or whatever i'm gonna take my holy grail lord mercier powder and I'm gonna use the Morphe sponge to apply it under my eye. Yeah, I don't know. I think I just left off saying it was my choice. And it was. It was. And that's facts. <sighs> that's facts. It was my choice. I don't blame him. Me and him still together. We still, I still love him. I just know how to carry it with him now. I just know how to carry it with, with him now. You know, when somebody go to jail, they kind of change up. <laughs> They kind of turn into a, a different person. And you be like, what the fuck? <sighs> like, what the hell? Who is this person? This is not the person I was with before they got locked up. But what do you expect? Somebody in jail, they, they mind get to wondering. Sometimes they have to disconnect themselves from the whole outside altogether. Because <sighs> if they don't, they can really get caught up in their head. And even the person outside dealing with them can get caught up in the head as well. I got caught up in my head a lot just off the strength of me just thinking so much. It was just a lot. It, I swear. I had to really. I'm going to just set the whole face with it lightly. But I just had to think like, girl, you were sitting here not thinking about your dream and ambitions and when you got all these people out here who's supporting you no 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 that's not what we doing that's not what we about to do out here jazz i got too many supporters that really hit me up every day rooting for me rooting for my channel rooting for me my growth and want me to evolve and i'm sitting up in here wasting their time by dealing with somebody like that who ain't gonna want to see me well I mean I wouldn't say he wouldn't want to see me evolve but right now in his life right now he can't help me evolve if he can't help me in the situation that he in there's no way that he could help me and I think that that's what really bothers him the most the fact that he can't help anyone the fact that he in a situation where he's not able to help anybody he likes to be the one to help people he don't like to ask nobody for nothing. That's one of the reasons why I love him because he don't like to ask anyone for anything. He basically just go and do for himself. He's a very independent young man and I love, fell in love with him because of that. And it's just unfortunate that he's in the situation that he's in right now because I really did see me and him having a real future together. But now I'm about to go ahead and take the Too Faced dark chocolate soleil matte bronzer and i'm going to use my morphe m527 this is my favorite favorite bronzing brush in life and i'm going to use that to contour my cheeks oh yeah that's a nice bronze so that bronzes up the fig oh yeah that's nice 
especially with this darker foundation that's too dark for me but ultimately if it's meant to be it will be this is just something i always used to say anyway if it is meant to be then it will be and we will see and we will see one second guys i have to find my eyebrow gel it's driving me crazy i found the at the million hours of looking i found the eyebrow gel and my elf spoolie because i can't find i gotta buy a new spoolie brush honestly i really do so i'm just going to spoolie my brows up and then set them with the eyebrow gel before i continue my face makeup and i think this just makes it look so natural so while those eyebrows are setting in and drying i'm going to do my eyeshadow so i'm going to go ahead and jump into this Love, I love Sarah He. I love Sorry Sarah He <laughs> palette. And jump into that, and I'm gonna go into the shade called Finders Keepers into my crease, and I'm gonna take a Morphe brush. I don't know what number this is. It's just like a regular brush it's like a fluffy like a 224 but smaller and a little more dense this is a really light shade i would use this all over the lid as a transition color for sure it's really pretty it's showing up though it is showing up i am swirling my brush in there quite a bit though like i'm going in like and building this color up for sure but it is a transition shade so you don't expect to get too much pigment from a transition color it's taking my morphe m441 brush it's a bit fluffier than the last one i used but they look really really similar and i just didn't want to use the same brush and so i'm going to go in with the shade called paquito moss and i'm going to take that right up underneath of the finders keepers This eyeshadow palette is really nice. I feel like the shades are a nice color for most skin tones. And I really do not like it. I love the transition color. I think I will use this palette often. You could. It's really perfect for traveling. It's really travel friendly. And you can go from day or night with this palette. So this is a really, really nice palette. I really like it and I appreciate it. The six shades, I appreciate it. I don't think it's too small, and I think it's worth the price. Kinda wishing I would've got a highlight, the highlighter that was in, at least one of the highlighters that was in the collection now. Next, I'm gonna be taking this D Door Time. I got this brush from Amazon, but I love this brush for cutting my crease because it is this type of shape, and this is perfect for cutting my crease and it's also perfect for cleaning up underneath my eyebrows when I do fill them in. Uh, I'm going to hurry up and complete the eye look. And then I'm going to add highlighter and eyelashes. And I'm basically done with this look. And I'm going to come back and when my battery charges up and show you guys the, um, the completed look with my hair and my outfit. So thanks for watching, guys. I'm sorry this video was kind of all over the place. I'm still trying to figure out this camera this new camera I got it is really crazy I'm just using this brush to cut my crease with some of that concealer going with the eyeshadow I'm going to be taking a different brush this is a matte brush I forgot what number it is I want to take that shadow right here that champagne shade called wonderless and I'm gonna put that all over my eyelid Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows using this precisely my brow pencil, I think. Okay, that brush is dead, like it's gone. So, it was really hard to use, but where the fuck this movie go? I think I would like it though. If it wasn't running out, I think I should should have got the full size. 
We might as well as I would've known it was gonna run out like that. Or be gone when I first got it. Like, bruh. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and try out the new mascaras. Hey girls and guys, so my DSLR camera battery actually died and it's over there charging up right now. But I wanted to show you guys the lip combo that I'm going to be putting on. Also, I did go ahead and use the Wet n Wild Matte Volume Mascara. And also, I did use the Anastasia Amrezy Highlighter for my highlight and in my inner tear duct. And I also did end up using the e.l.f. liner for a dollar and it kind of messed my eye up over here, if you can tell. But yeah, it was okay. It's really black. So now I'm about to show you guys how the lip looks. So. If you want to see how it looks, just stay tuned. And also, don't forget to stay tuned for the outfit. I don't like it. I mean, I love the formula, but this color would need a lip liner. And my lip liner is on that side of the room, and I'm getting so sleepy. The Barely There gloss on top of it. Super soft. One swipe. Very pigmented. Not streaky at all. The lipstick and the lip gloss is a 10 for me. The eyeshadow palette is a 10 for me. And I wish I would have got the highlighters. So I'm going to have to go ahead and take my hair down and get dressed. And I'll come back and show you guys my outfit. 